There definitely could be some more stags over here, and I don't want to potentially spook them. No way. That's a big rack. That is a big rack. Tom potential. Red deer stag right there. I've never seen one of those before, and I want one so bad. I want to thank you guys for the amazing comments and feedback in yesterday's video. It really means a lot and thank you so much. If I didn't get a chance to respond to your comment, it's not because I don't want to, it's just because sometimes I don't feel up to it and there's a lot of comments to reply to and sometimes when I don't feel that good, I just don't reply. But anyways, I do like the comment and it means a lot so thank you for that and let's get into today's hunt. I've never seen a mule deer in this location here and all of a sudden now, there is a stack of mule deer right here. A decent buck right out in the front, but there's also a really good buck in the back. Actually, he only has a minimum of 185 to 247, but that's definitely a gold potential buck right there. And I don't think we're quite going to get a shot off. Bunch of access deer there, but uh, there's a chance we might be able to. Well, I spotted the buck right here, and he was actually heading this way, so I'm thinking he's probably going to be drinking somewhere over here. Whether it's going to be this location or this location, I don't know. But let's go check. Well, that could definitely be a problem, because I feel like our buck should be... Yeah, exactly. Our buck was probably right there, but then this uh, puma decided to wander on through here and scare away our buck. So if I get a clear shot at this puma... We're probably going to take it. Slide over just a little bit more. There he is. That should work. Smoked him. And I hope that the buck didn't go too far away from that shot. I really don't think it's going to spook him too far. Well, here's our Puma down here. Let's pick him up. Ended up getting a double lung shot at 212 yards out. 37.6 actually split the lung there. And a solid gold puma. Not exactly the buck that we're looking for, but I am not going to pass up that level four. Definitely the biggest one that we've seen in quite some time. And he's actually 80 yards out right there. I don't want him to spook. So we're going to bust out the 6.5 here and see if we can't get on that buck. That's a really tough shot. I'm going for a heart lung shot, and I think we got it because he piled up right there. Look at all the deer taking off. Got level three, a doe, a doe, a doe. The good thing is I didn't see our giant. Bad thing is I still don't know where he is. Another good thing, though, is he's not an absolute giant. He's just a big buck. And I think we took down a buck that's probably going to score very similar to what he would have anyways. But here he is, and that's going to be a 233 gold, a left lung heart shot at 83 yards out. Actually, kind of a perfect shot. We just jumped up the rest of this herd here, and if I can get a back of the neck shot, I'm going to go for it. And we definitely did, and he piled up right there. The next place I'm trying to head to now is actually on the back side over here. I've seen some big mule deer over here. As you can see, they actually rest here from 12 till 1700. We do have another hunter coming in from this side, but I don't think he's really going to interfere with this side over here. And not only that, we just passed up our buck, but here he is right here. Let's pick him up and ended up pulling off a perfect neck shot at 104 yards out. Okay, guys, this is really cool. We just got to the lake here and take a look what we have right below us. A really nice buck. That's a guaranteed goal potential buck there, 140 yards out. And we have another couple of bucks right here. But take a look, they're right below us on the bottom of this cliff here. So in order to get them, we would definitely have to burn a med kit, which yes, we do have one. But um, I don't really want to spook any deer over here. That's looking a little better. We're sitting at about 120 yards and we actually have a really good win. I don't think we're going to get too much closer. So let's see if we can't line up and go for the shot. We want to try and zero in for roughly... About a hundred yards because we're actually going to hit probably high. Way high. That was like a foot over his back. Actually, I think we're going to take this shot right here. And we definitely smoked him. I had a feeling there might be more deer over there. It's a buck too. You know what? 
Let's try and get in position. No, no. Oh my God. How the heck did we just save ourselves? At the last second, I managed to pull off our first aid kit and we saved our lives. Well, I never saw the buck, so I think we're gonna go over and go track down the other buck that we hit, which was standing right over here. And here's our second buck piled up over here. Let's go take a look at him. Probably gonna be like a 240 gold, something like that. Another beautiful muley down. And double lung shoulder blade, 240 exact, but look at the angle of that shot. <laughs> that was only a 130 yard shot, but it looks like we we're taking like a 500 yard shot from the angle and the arc of that bullet there. Wow. That's almost 100% straight vertical right there. We got a little bit of a situation here and uh, oh, I was going to say we should probably try and shoot straight, but that was not a very good shot. That was though. And so was that. And let's see if we can't take down one more. Come on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. What, 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 what? Oh, that was a decent shot, but not a perfect shot. But that definitely, oh my God, please don't. Oh, if we even got breathed on right now, we will be a goner. Wow. Okay. Don't do anything. Yes. We're alive. We're alive. I ended up getting a right lung shot, liver, and double lung shot. Okay, so that first shot actually did connect right lung, but it takes a long... Look at all the arrows stuck there. It takes a long time for them to go down with a single lung hit and the 600s. But anyways, that was a vertebrae spine shot, and that was a spine shot. Perfect shots, and that will save our lives, basically. <laughs> Okay, I had to put this in the clip here because somebody said something pretty amazing and it really means a lot. So anyways, yeah, let's uh, get back into the hunt. Ooh, that has my interest. That's a guaranteed goal potential muley right there, 360 yards out, but he's all by himself. Interesting. That one has my interest even more. 237 to 298 on the score estimate on him. Honestly, I am thinking if we took one really good shot here, I don't think the bigger buck's gonna spook. I just don't think he's going to. But can we sneak one in there at about 350 yards is the question. Well, we're about to. So hopefully we can. That was money. That was a perfect shot. And I don't think our big box boot. Nope, he's right there. Awesome. Sometimes things just work out. I could probably take that shot. Again, about 350 yards out. I choked on that. I choked big time. This buck actually should have been a double lung shot, but apparently it wasn't. More blood there. More blood there. I feel like both these bucks might be running to the same exact location. There's one buck piled up right here. So let's pick him up. That's a great looking buck. Probably like a 240s as well. And a 243, we did double lung him at 363 yards. And what a perfect shot with a 6.5 there, right on the money and a giant buck down. But the second buck should have been over here. I decided to change out rifles after that last little incident that we took a 350 yard shot on the neck. I think if we had a little bit bigger of a caliber, we probably could have taken down that buck. And it's a good thing we did because now we have this huge stag out here. It's a giant mythical 228 minimum to 273. Now we have the M1, which is definitely a little bit more powerful than the 6.5. I mean, I would rather him not go way over there. Okay. Either way, we just absolutely smoked that stag. About 330 on the walk. And I think he went down because I don't see him. Let's go get him. 
That's actually the biggest animal I've seen um, on this new map. What happened is the game crashed, so then I went back, grabbed a bigger rifle, and we found another map to join. And now we're on, whose map is this? Uh, Arizona T's map, and then Jordan Kubat joined in as well. We just jumped up something right here. I don't know how big it is, but definitely want to try and take it down. Well, I think we got a good hit into him. I was a little bit low, but honestly, I think that should have been just right. Well, I'm seeing a ton of blood right there, and I'm seeing a puma piled up right there. So we definitely made a pretty good hit. And here he lays right here. I don't know if it was a male or a female, but since it jumped up, I figured we might as well try and take the shot. And it is going to be a solid male, and what an awesome shot. Double lunged him at 80 yards out, a 37 score in gold. Male. And that is an awesome sign right there. A really good vital hit. As you can see right there, he probably only went maybe like 50 yards. And there he is piled up right there. Actually, I kind of want to slow down a little bit here because we never really checked this backside. There definitely could be some more stags over here and I don't want to potentially spook them. <sighs> Way. That's a big rack. That is a big rack, Tom Potential. Red Deer Stag right there. I've never seen one of those before and I want one so bad. Oh my God. Holy, where is he going though? Where is he going? Um, I saw a stag over there before, but I never actually got a zone. So I don't know where he's going to. We better pay attention though. There he goes, there he goes. I think he's actually behind that hill. He might end up somewhere down here, but I don't know. What I do know is we have an incredible win. So if we can figure out where he does go and we have about an hour time to figure this out as well. I feel like he's probably gonna stop somewhere over here Anyways, we better uh, make up our mind here quick and get a move on. Let's pick up this massive mythical right here and continue on. That's going to be a 237 gold double lung liver stomach shot at 316 yards on the walk. 237 is a massive mythical stag. And like I said, we do have a perfect, perfect win. So we're gonna work our way over this ridge here. We're gonna crouch and kind of take our time because I don't want to screw this up. Usually they drink back up in here. There's like a little bio that falls back up in there and I feel like he should be on the back side of that bayou there. So as we're heading over here, I'm gonna show you where we're at right now. We're at the very south end of the map here. This spot here is excellent for red deer. I've never really gotten anything giant here besides mythicals. And now we're right here. It's eight o'clock in the morning and we spotted that massive down potential stag right here trotting this way. I'm hoping he's going to stop somewhere over here. Okay, so I think what we should do at this point is get on his track. Try and figure out where he's heading to because I cannot see him anywhere. All right, we're finally back on his track. And that very well could be him. Right back up in there. Can you imagine? If that's him. It very well could be, but it looks like he's in some pretty thick stuff. If I had to guess, I would say that giant stag should be somewhere right around. Whoa. That's his track right there. That track's going that way. He's got to be up there. Well, we got about 15 minutes left to try and find this giant stag. That might be him. Oh my god, it's him. It's him. He's about to walk 20 yards past us. Oh my god. Oh my god. You smoked him at 20 yards away. <gasps> Let's go.
Let's go take a look. It happened so fast. And he was so close to us. I barely got time to zero in for 20 yards. And we took the shot. And here he is. One of the biggest red deer. A 253 diamond. We double lunged him at 10 yards away. Unbelievable. I had a feeling that might be him. And so I thought we better get ready. And it was definitely him. Look at the size of the rack on the stag. He's so big. Made an awesome shot as well. Double lunged him at 10 yards away. And a 253 giant diamond. I didn't think I would ever get one of these before. Oh my god. So here's where we ended up taking down that giant diamond. We're actually just to the north here. We spotted that stag here and uh, we tracked him this way. We kept seeing that small stag coming back and then all of a sudden I heard something and I knew the small stag was gone. So I had pretty much like a 98% chance that it was going to be the guaranteed diamond stag. And all of a sudden I looked and he was right here coming right towards us. We popped up and he was 10 yards walking and we just smoked him. Normally I'd ask you guys where we should put this giant diamond red deer stag and this time I don't have to ask you because I know exactly where we're gonna put it. We are switching out this fallow deer and we're putting him right here. 253.8 scoring giant diamond red deer big rack stag and here he is right here. What a magnificent red deer stag he is. Unbelievable the fact that we actually did finally get one. Now I want to show you this. This here is the OG Diamond Red Deer Stag. He was huge and it took me almost three years to find one. Once the Truex came out, this is the only one that I ever got right here. Not a very impressive small rack Diamond Red Deer Stag. 252.8, but he's a small rack and he's definitely not very impressive at all. I'll give you a little better look at him. There you can see the before. And let's show you the after. <laughs> quite the difference, quite the difference indeed. What a massive, incredible diamond stag that we took down with a bow at 10 yards away. And I think that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Wow.